you have no respect. No, you came into my space on my land. How some people feel about the current state of the AFN was on full display at this year's election. That's a difference of opinion. That's a difference of opinion. Here, a Belgard supporter takes issue with a young person who had written a derogatory message on a re-elect Perry Belgard t-shirt. Young people are getting restless. There is a sense of change in the air that chiefs would vote for a national chief to take the organization in a different direction. But in the end, Perry Belgard was re-elected as national chief. Better housing, better education, better health care, and yes, lands and resources coming back to First Nations people. And this regional chief is a supporter. We're there to represent the views and make the space for First Nations and communities to create their own self-determination and their own self-government. You know, and I think national chief has done a great job doing that. Belgard has another three-year term to get things done his way. But some say the AFN is too cozy with Ottawa and are calling for change. Candidate Russ Diabo says Ottawa is hijacking our right to self-determination and imposing policies without our input which will affect us for generations. This organization is basically controlled by uh, the Trudeau government. And uh, I'm saying to the people who are watching, uh, it's really up to you now because it's clear that this organization is not going to reform itself. It's going to have to happen from the outside. But Gugu says the AFN is a lobby group where good relationships are important. If you're going to have people hear our vision, they got to see clearly and hear clearly what you're asking for and where you want to go. And that's crucial to have a good relationship with our Prime Minister. A common complaint is the AFN has lost connection with people. Pam Palmiter, a professor at Ryerson University, has felt that way for a long time. Six years ago, she ran against Sean Atlio for national chief under a banner of change. She lost, but is still speaking out. Right now, it's an empire building. How much money and staff can we get from the federal government? And that doesn't translate on the ground at all to First Nations. That doesn't translate into housing or anything for First Nations. Gugu has faith in the AFN and says it was created for communities and leaderships to come together. Nation building happens within the, your nations, you know, and it's those visions and those uh, structures and governance structures and systems that have to be raised to be recognized, reaffirmed and reconciled. Gugu says that's where the AFN has to take those visions, but the youth and the grassroots are getting louder and stronger. And some say that one day, the voices of the people may have more input than the chiefs. Angel Moore, APTN, National News, Halifax.